Collingwood fans, uh, I mean, everyone's been writing Collingwood off, bottom four, etc., etc. They didn't look bottom four. No, they didn't. And it was the dynamic play that I thought, TJ, and their ability to handball receive off half back. So what they have done is load up their half backs with attacking players. You've got Howe back there, you've got Moore, Penderbury's gone back there, Dacos is there, you've got Quainor, who's an attacking player. I thought they were exceptionally well drilled, and there was a period here. You know, the, the start of the third quarter where they really set up structurally well and forced St Kilda to turn over and were able to go back and score off that. So, look, they're going to have their challenges this year. The year they're a young side. When they play that wrist footy brownie, they're going to get scored against. But going to watch Collingwood play yeah. last year was boring. It's now like watching a die-hard movie. There's explosions going off everywhere. <laughs> Bruce Willis is fighting with a bad guy and you're on the edge of your seat watching them play, which is what the Collingwood How good needed. was Dacos's response after that first clanger he kicked and they all got into him and then he kept going for his kicks. He kept running hard and you look at that game the other night and St Kilda's issues. Uh, Jack Steele's are only A-grader mm. and then you look at Collingwood, they've got six potential A-graders on their list so St Kilda need help in the Jack Steele department. They need some other players to well, come with him. And Collingwood's uh, kicked a goal with Lipinski too, haven't they? Picking yeah. up from the Western mm, Bulldogs. Good, really good. Um, what else you got for us? Well, uh, I, wanna, got yeah, on I want to talk about Dugowie, and I think one thing about Dugowie is he stood out because I think they're so one pace through the midfield, St Kilda, and a guy like Dugowie and Dacos, they stand out big point. Even Lipinski stood out. But just on Jordan, I've been as hard as anyone on this guy. I hope his footy can do the talking from here across the whole journey because he's never put a, a full season together. He's never been top five in a Collingwood best and fairest. He had 27 disposals, two goals three, best on ground, which was great. So don't sign him. So yeah. the, do not, I, I hear contract negotiations are going to start with Jordan going, no, put put that on the back burner for Collingwood. Do exactly what Lordo said. Let his mm. footy do the talking. We'll discuss your contract in round 16, 17. If you continue to produce that footy, it'll take Let care it of be itself. An incentive. Let him earn it, TJ, because yeah. he hasn't earned it to this point. Now, you surely... Your volcano doesn't pertain to this match, does it? Well, well that was the good. Let's get to oh. the volcano because this oh is this is the bad. Righto, so we're going to pump up Collingwood and we've loved what they've done. Craig McRae has absolutely hit the ground running. I didn't like seeing this post-game. Yeah, you know how it is. Why were, mm. you know, one of many this year. This baby. Mm. One of many. Yeah. One of many. Yeah, baby. The courting wife, Liam what, Bowden. That's what we're talking about. Yes, sir. Check it. <laughs> You finished 17th last year, you've beaten St Kilda, who no one expects will do anything this year. Stop carrying on. That's Jack Ginevan, you've played six games. Just relax, earn some respect in the game before you go on carrying on like that. Now, some would say, hey, 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 let me have my say, and you can agree or disagree with this. <laughs> if I'm Matthew Nix, I play Collingwood next week. I'm showing that vision going, who do these guys... Oh. Who do they think they are? You don't see Geelong carrying on like that. You don't see Richmond and Dynasty teams carry on like that. This so is going to be earn, a very long year. Earn some respect before you start carrying on saying it was light work and first of many. It's going to be a very long year on this panel if you're carrying on like that after round one. No, I'm not carrying what, on. What is wrong with that? You just described them as blockbuster and, and like a movie on. set, and that's part of the movie. There's the a thing, footy world's changing, Kane. There's a thing about the world's winning, changing. But there's a thing about winning in a humble and it's way. it's engaging fans. You've got to win with a humble Hollywood way. Hollywood fans will love that. And you've got to love that. earn your respect. No one will agree with Kane whether Jack Ginevan was the wrong choice and whether he was a young... Uh, I thought he did a good job out of that. I've been fortunate enough to be down there over summer, yeah. uh, once or twice, and, and there is a genuine feeling of these young kids are taking this club with them. Yeah. That's just part of it. Let your footy oh, do the talking. Not, not, he did. Oh, but he not, Kane, Kane, at the end of the day, it's a game of football, all right? They're young men. TJ, they're enjoying a moment. A they don't need some Debbie young, Downer like you sitting here on a Sunday. If a walked in to your set, <laughs> if, what? if a young newsreader walked in and filled in for you and was carrying on doing <laughs> selfies, going, this is light work. It's different. You're not winning a game. There is no way. What is that is, that game. analogy it's is almost as bad as your no, volcano. No, it's not at all. You've got to earn your respect. Let them, your just let them, oh, let them enjoy the And I love the, the fact moment. that the senior players got involved. Oh, Brody yeah. Grundy, Darcy okay. Moore involved. Right. Just because you were boring when you played. Love it.